guys, welcome back. We are starting off with brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate today. Starting off in the front lightly and then going off towards the tail end of the brow. Gonna blend that out and just do the other one super quick. Then we're going to clean it up with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Honey. I'm using a Brush Love flat brush for this, but they don't exist anymore. I mean, at least this brush doesn't. So an E30 by Sigma is super, super similar. For priming, I'm using Painterly by MAC with a P89 by Sigma. I'm just blending that all the way out towards the eye, almost towards the temple. Now for eyes, I'm using the Jessie palette by Jessie James Decker and Alexa Perisco Cosmetics. We are going to use Let's Get Nude as our transition color with an E30 by Sigma. Just blending that in the crease, back and forth, windshield wiper motions, going up towards the brow and just blending back and forth. You know, the usual. Now taking the E25, I'm taking Brazilian Babe and Georgia Clay and going on the outer V area in circular motions, bringing it towards the inner lid a little bit. Now these shadows were very blendable, I will say that, but I wish they picked up a little bit more, but I guess that's good for people who are just beginning with shadows, so they don't feel like they pick up too much product and then they just have to like re-blend, so I feel like that's good for beginners. Now taking hot chocolate with the same brush, I'm going on the outer V, just kind of focusing in that there. Then I picked up the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer Palette and I used Black Rainbow. And you can see like how much pigment this is compared to those other shadows. But again, like I said, this is totally good for a beginner makeup artist or just a regular consumer. It's just perfect for, you know, someone who doesn't want to have to worry about putting too much product in their eyes. So I'm going in with this, patting it, and then blending it back and forth with the E30, and just going to the inner lid. Now taking the star of the show, this is Lemonhead Paradise Beef Space Paste. This stuff is insane. I've been obsessed with it for a couple weeks now. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to take it out of my eye mats bag, but girl, this stuff is insane. You don't need adhesive, all you need is a little brush to put this on and it just acts as if it's a full blown shadow. Completely blends like beautifully, like you don't have to worry about it being too messy. It's movable very easily but at the same time it does not move during the night. For mascara I'm using the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. This has been my favorite recently. And I'm just going to fluff up those lashes really quick. And starting the face, I'm using Pores No More by Dr. Brandt, putting that all over the face. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my hands. I haven't been able to find like a primer that I'm like super obsessed with. Um, this one's pretty good, and you know I love Tarte. But I want to find a primer that I'm like, oh my god, this is like life changing. Now this is life changing. This foundation is my favorite foundation right now. It's very, very close to Fenty Beauty, I would say. This is the natural, Naturally Radiant Longwear Foundation by NARS. I'm in shade Barcelona. I'm using a 3D HD Kabuki brush to put this on my face. And oh my god, you guys, this is like the most beautiful coverage, natural looking foundation that I've ever seen. It's like Fenty, but it's just, it's a little different. I don't know. It's just like, oh, goes on like a baby, but I don't know if that doesn't make any sense, but it just, you know what I mean. For concealer, we're using Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm using light neutral here because I'm a little paler. So I'm using a Japanese sponge to blend this out, which has been my favorite sponge so far. This this past couple months, I've just been using it like crazy. So I definitely need to get another one because this one's just a little torn up from my nails. But I'm just gonna blend this all over those areas where I have some concealer. And then for contour, I use the Clay Stick Foundation by Tarte. This is in Deep Honey. And I tried to contour my lips, but kind of left myself with a little goatee there. Yep, that's cool. And I'm just going to put it on my nose as well. But again, like, I don't really care if I'm that messy because when you blend, you blend in the right areas, you'll be fine. 
I'm using this little contour brush by Tarte just to kind of blend everything out. I like to blend with a little brush sometimes at first and then go in with my foundation brush before that I used and to kind of blend everything together. I feel like this, you know, leaves the product a little bit more concentrated to where you want it to be. So that is exactly what I'm doing here. Just blending everything out and then I'm going in back in with that 3D HD Kabuki brush just to blend everything and have a little bit more of a soft contour than that harsh contour, you know, it was looking like before. Blending with the sponge as well, that also helps, but the nose is just always easier to blend with your fingers, I've realized. So now, after that, I'm going to be putting on some Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder in Translucent and baking in the normal areas, especially under the cheekbone. Then I'm just going in with the darker shade and the KKW Beauty brush in the KKW Beauty Contour Kit. And just going to go a little bit deeper with that contour. Just so it gives me a little bit more of a gray tone and not super, super orange. And we're blending that out. Don't worry. Everything will be blended out. I'm using an F37 here to blend everything. See how nice it looks now? It's all blended. So I feel like people worry with me sometimes with the contour. Using Peaceful by Tarte. This is their Amazonian clay. And I'm using an F10 from Sigma as always. And then I'm using Hot Chocolate and Georgia Clay with an E30. I actually think this is an E30. I think the other one I meant was E20. That's what I meant, guys. Sorry. I'm going in on the lower lash line, adding a little bit of black rainbow as well. What a beautiful black color. Probably my new favorite black, and I like that this has a little shimmer in there. But um, I feel like if you wanted the shimmer to really show, you'd probably have to wet that. For lashes, we are using my new Invisiband Lash by Gigi Bell Lashes, which is my lash line if you hadn't known yet. And we're putting these on because you don't need liner. Yes, that is what I love about those. Use code SUBBY. S-U-B-B-I-E for a 20% discount. Links below. Mm -hmm. Now I'm using Opal and Rose Quartz by the Becca Cosmetics. And I'm using a M501 brush by Morphe. Putting that all over. And for lips, I'm using Patrick Star MAC Cosmetics Collaboration. How beautiful is this packaging? I'm jealous of it. Putting on Mahogany Liner, which goes with the whole trio. We're using Mama Shaw. And I was like excited putting this on because I hadn't used like a brand new MAC lipstick liner and gloss set in like a long ass time. So just putting this on. Oof. And the smell of MAC lipsticks does something to me. Don't know what it does exactly, but it makes me happy in a way. So that's that. Putting that all over. Then look how beautiful this color is. It's like a nude, but it's not because it's got that red tone. And I just love the way it looked with this whole look. And it was just so pretty. And I was just so happy. And the gloss. Oh, the gloss is so smooth. I'm not sure if they redid their formulas or what, but the glosses have been bomb from that lately. And that is it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this glittery smoky eye. I am obsessed. Hope you are too. Sorry it was a little late for New Year's, but I mean, everybody loves a glitter smoky eye. So I will see you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe and thumbs up if you haven't already. And I love you guys. Bye!